Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and yes, I know this is pretty soon after the last video on this, but we are halfway through Season 1 of Star Trek Strange New Worlds in the UK now, and I have to say, this season just keeps getting better and better. The show just keeps getting better and better. And for those of you in the US who can't, can't, quite, can't quite remember which episode Episode 5 was, as it's been over a month for you guys now, it's the episode featuring the Rongovians. Now... This episode, in particular, felt like the most classic original series Star Trek that we've had probably since the original series. We have a brand new species wanting to join either the Federation, the Klingon Empire, or the Romulan Star Empire. Now, of course, it is in the Federation's best interests that the Rongovians joins them and not the Romulans or the Klingons, because that would be very bad. But unfortunately, um... Negotiations are not going well. So, Admiral Robert April, making his second appearance in the series, and thank God, I love him so much, um, goes to Christopher Pike because, well, he needs help. And unfortunately, the Rongovians show up there and then. Uh-oh. So, Christopher Pike has to very quickly try some negotiation tactics with the Rongovians. It fails horribly. And, to add a bit more um, chaos to the to the mix, um, Spring shows up, um, Spock's fiance, and, wants to, and she wants to spend more time with him. Unfortunately, though, the negotiations do kind of interfere with that a little bit. And currently in this episode, Spock's having a bit of an identity crisis, having <laughs> fights in his dreams between his human and his Vulcan half. And it was actually very similar to the um, uh, fight scene in the original series when it was Kirk versus Spock. We all know the fight. And they even used the same music, which I thought was a stroke of genius. Like, I've noticed um, this season's doing that a lot. Like, when there's a scene kind of replicated or kind of made tribute to from the original series, um, they tend to use the music from that original scene. So I thought, okay, that's actually really, really, really cool. Nice touch. Um, and as a result of this whole um, disaster between Spring and Spock, they decide to do a a bit of a kind of mind meld, but not really. But it goes wrong, and they kind of do a Freaky Friday accidentally. Yep, Spring is Spock, and Spock is Spring. Which is very interesting, because not long after that little development, the Rongovians decide they want to speak to Spock. Who is now possessed by Tsapring, so Tsapring kind of needs to figure out how to become a negotiator. Thankfully with the help of Captain Pike, because they have to tell him, otherwise this could doom the Federation Rongovian Alliance. Yeah, I know this has kind of turned into an overview of the fifth episode, but it's really good. I do want to kind of give my <laughs> give my reasons as to why I love this episode, and the best way to do that is kind of tell you guys about it, because, yeah, I'm literally saying everything that I love about the episode which is honestly everything, pretty much, um, including Nurse Chapel and her kind of boyfriend, but I'll get onto that in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, um, Spring goes to negotiate with the Rongovians, uh, and it kind of works, because she got very, very, very risky, and then Captain Pike had to step in, which seems to have gained a bit of the Rongovians' respect. Yeah. And then Captain Pike starts to piece together how to do this. And then, eventually, Tsapring and Spock do manage to switch back after Spock going to do something that Tsapring is needed for and punching a Vulcan in the face. That was interesting. But then, yeah, eventually, Tsapring and Spock are able to switch back thanks to Dr. Mabenga and Nurse Chapel um, using some very rudimentary... <laughs> Uh, electro stimuli for the brains, so like they were trying to push each other out of their own brains and get them back into the. They were trying to push each other out of each other's brains to get them back into their own. It was very strange, can't lie, but it worked out right at the end. And then probably my favorite moment of the episode, Captain Pike finally figures out to do the wrong Govians. Take their points of view, basically say, well, what is in it for you? And then he just lists off. All things that could go wrong, and then that actually gains the Rongovians' respect. 
and they activate their soul sail ship, which, by the way, is a starship literally powered by the sun, and it flies the Federation flag. And the moment that made me cry was when I realised the original series theme was playing in the background. Only for like 20 seconds, but it was there. And I nearly cried because I realised very quickly. And as we know, I always wanted the original series theme to be the theme for this show. That sadly didn't come to pass, although the Strange New Worlds theme is incredible, frankly. Um, and it does have a, a brief second or two of the original series theme at the very, very end. And of course, the Space the Final Frontier speech at the beginning, which really, really made me cry for the first time. Because the first time I heard it, because I thought, oh my god, they've done it. They needed to do it, and they did it. Honestly, Strange New World so far is fantastic. <laughs> so far, as you can probably guess, episode 5 is by far my favourite, although I've heard some minor stuff from the last episode, which came out yesterday in the US, and I've heard, um, it's good. So, I'll, as I said a, a couple of weeks ago, I will be doing an end of season video. Um, when, when the last episode comes out in the UK, so that'll be in about five weeks' time. Whoops. Yeah. I hope um, Paramount Plus doesn't do this to us next season and releases it at the same time. We'll see. Speaking of next season, though, Nurse Chapel's actress, um, Jess Bush, has put out a tweet a few minutes before recording this video, actually, that Strange New World Season 2 has finished filming. It is done. All it's got to do now is be edited together and released. And I'm going to predict, as a result of it finishing filming now, it's going to come out very early on next year. I'm going to make a rough, rough estimate, say sometime in February. Yep, February 2023, we'll see Strange New World Season 2. Hopefully at 2 out of 6, because I really want to see this feed straight into the original series. I really, really, really want that. And if the other rumours are true, and or well, they're bringing all these original series cast members, well, characters together, they could potentially finish the original series. Because as we know, see, um, the original series was cut two seasons short. But the rumour is they're trying to piece together an original series cast to finish the original series. Which, frankly, would make me a very happy man. I would be incredibly shocked, incredibly happy, because we've got four of them already. Chapel, Uhura, Spock, and Kirk for season two, which, yes. But yeah, I can't wait to see if that does come to pass, because you guys know I love the original series. You know I'm loving Strange New Worlds. I want to see more of these characters, so please let those rumours be true. <sighs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Halfway through Star Trek Strange New Worlds season one. So please don't forget to... Like this video, subscribe to my Roxanne's and Frost's YouTube channels. That links are in the description, my button. It is down there, of course. Yeah, that'd be a great one, unless you've already subbed, then it's great. Thank you for that, by the way. And once you've done that, please don't forget to click all three for the icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you're thinking of Strange New Worlds uh, halfway through its first season. Or if you watch the full season again, please no spoilers for episodes 6 through 10, because I have not seen those yet. They are not out in the UK, so... Please don't spoil those. Once you know that too, please don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. And check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram while you're down there. Once you've done that too, please don't forget as well to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Live long and prosper.